today is the first part of an open-ended mission to complete all of the crossings of the River Thames. Ferry's gone. Yeah, we could have waited for that. I've never been so happy to see a Cesaro in my whole life. Hello everyone, today we're at Canary Wharf's uh, beautiful new Elizabeth Line station. I've just come back here and realised how nice it looks. Somehow the floor looks nice and worn down. But uh, anyway, we're here at Canary Wharf completing our challenge to uh, try and complete all of the crossings uh, of the River Thames, heading westwards today in towards the City of London. Uh, we'll see how far we get. Um, starting from Canary Wharf is where we left off last time. Um, first we've got the Jubilee Line tunnel between North Greenwich and Canary Wharf. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head for the DLR, because the next crossing uh, of the River Thames, uh, where we're headed for, is on D the DLR. Well, this um, exit was closed for a while, wasn't it, um, when the Elizabeth line first opened, so I don't think I've ever come out of this exit before. It's very nice here, though. Oh, that was good timing. Oh, wrong train, okay. <laughs> oh, here comes the train, bound for Lewisham. We're going to be taking this as far as Island Gardens. We are going to Island Gardens for our very first crossing of the River Thames today, and that is the Greenwich Foot Tunnel. Right, welcome to Island Gardens, everyone. It's a bit of a dark and dingy station, this, isn't it? When the DLR branch to Lewisham first opened, this was the very southern terminus of the line. Now, obviously, the line continues to Lewisham. Right, let's find this foot tunnel, shall we? And we are, of course, doing all the crossings in order today. Uh, the, I believe the foot tunnel is very, very, just slightly east uh, of the DLR tunnel, so that's where we're doing that today. Do you remember to touch out, otherwise we'll get fined. Oh. Here we are, this is River Thames here. There's an old horse, lovely Greenwich foot tunnel. Greenwich is quite nice looking over, I think that's the National Maritime Museum, correct me if I'm wrong. Here we go, for our very first crossing of attempts today. It's actually a bit narrow inside. At least this part is here. Also, this foot tunnel should be slightly um, shorter in length uh, than the one at Woolwich, uh, primarily because the Thames is narrower. Um, it might not be, that's just an assumption, but it seems to be shorter just by looking at it, so there probably is quite a considerable difference between the Thames' width uh, at Woolwich and here at Greenwich. South lift, we're at the southern end of the tunnel now. This last time, uh, if you haven't seen parts 1 and 2 then, uh, I do recommend you go back and watch them because a lot of the stuff I talk about today will be tied into those videos. Uh, yeah, so last time we visited North Greenwich, this is proper Greenwich. As we emerge, Of attempt. So there's a cutty sock, it's a big boat that Greenwich is famous for. Cutty sock from Maritime Greenwich, is this the longest DLR station name? It used to just be called Cutty Sark, but I believe Cutty Sark from Maritime Greenwich is now its official station name. Here comes our train which will be taking to Heron Keys. That's the same train we got um, to Island Gardens. I don't know. 
crossing on the DLR crossing in the Thames again as I mentioned very very slightly west uh, of the foot tunnel DLR must be quite fast because we're already at Island Gardens. Definitely won't have a minute to go, will we? Well, I'm just working into Herring Keys now. Um, pro tip if you're changing to the Jubilee line here and you're coming from the southbound direction, it is quicker to change here than to go to Canary Wharf. Signs here say Herring Keys for Jubilee line. Uh, it is recommended to change here. Canary Wharf station is just up there. This is the wrong way. Uh, if you get off of Canary Wharf, it will take you through a giant shopping centre, uh, which is a massive detour. It's quite nice to go through. I quite like the shopping centre, but I, <laughs> if you want to get somewhere quickly, then Herring Keys is probably the better place to go. Quick, can I walk here? I believe where we started our very, very first episode of Transport Roulette nearly a year and a half ago now. Wow. Here we're here, about to go into one of my favourite stations on the London Underground. What's your favourite station on the Underground? Let me know in the comments down below. But look at this. One of my favourite stations on the uh, Jubilee Line extension by far. In fact, all of them on the um, Jubilee Line extension are quite nice, but this is probably my favourite. And we're going one stop across uh, the river on the Jubilee Line westbound. Uh, that's to Canada Water. Seems strange, but Canary Wharf is north of the river. Can Canada Water is south of the river. The water. So if you know, you can also change here for the London Overground. We're not going to do that today. Following signs for the way out. Because we are going out. This escalator is not working. The uh, station information boards are uh, very nicely uh, showing me that this World Egg Day today, um, <laughs> which definitely didn't need to know, but now I want to know what World Egg Day is. Anyway, we're coming up here to uh, the bus station uh, to catch a bus to our next crossing of the Thames, which is slightly more obscure because it's not a road bridge or uh, a rail line. It is. It's actually a ferry. Did you know that there was a ferry operating in this part of London? It's the Hilton Doubletree Docklands Ferry, or also known as the RB4. It's a recent uh, addition to the... Lo oh, just missed a bus, great. Um, it's a recent addition uh, to the uh, London Ferry Network uh, and connects the Hilton Doubletree Docklands Hotel uh, in West Ferry uh, to uh, South of the River, or the strange place South of the River. Uh, it's looking for a C10 bus, so I don't think we're going to be able to pick up that one. Uh, and the C10 is the uh, next bus that we're going to get. Also, the one, uh, the London's uh, first route numerically, uh, starts here. I guess we now just wait. These are very nice buses. Electric buses. Right now to find this ferry. This is the uh, hotel which the ferry serves. It's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> you got a little ferry serving its own little hotel. Is the River Thames this way? I think the river. Oh no, the River Thames is this way. So we go into the Hilton. I think that will probably be a good call. Oh my word, this is really strange. But we have to go through the hotel. Don't we? the way around it, but no.
This is cool, isn't it? That's Canary Wharf Pier there. Welcome on board the Twin Star Ferry Service between Double Tree Hilton and Canary Wharf Pier. Why, thank Safety you very much. are located around the vessel. This takes you back to the very first ferry we did uh, over at Gravesend, between Gravesend and Tilbury. This is, <laughs> you can already tell it's considerably shorter, even the Woolwich Ferry felt longer. Thames does narrow quite quickly, doesn't it? And almost immediately after we leave, find ourselves coming into Canary Wharf, except it's not really Canary Wharf, it's sort of West Ferry area. Thank you. Three pounds eighty. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's do our next crossing of the River Thames. I've got absolutely no idea where we are. West Ferry here now. The D3. Just going to take us to uh, West Ferry's DLR station. Right, West Ferry DLR station, we just arrived. A uh, very short journey on our D3 bus there. Uh, what we're going to do now is going to get the DLR for just one stop uh, across uh, to Limehouse. Uh, where from Limehouse, we're going to be able to uh, get a, uh, actually a taxi uh, through the Roller Hive tunnel because quite frankly I don't fancy walking through the Rudder Hive tunnel so I might end up with about 100 lung diseases afterwards uh, so that's what we're going to do today oh it's an expensive trip isn't it well oh, busy this section of the yellow is I really like to film at <laughs> some point as well it's Rascal train our train bound for the bank uh, is very shortly arriving in Just one stop over to Limehouse. It's actually quite a long way from um, uh, West Ferry to Limehouse, just as I got the DLR, so considering walking it, but it took a good few minutes. What I'm doing now is just ordering a taxi. Uh, that will take us to the other side of the Royal Half Tunnel. It's pretty cheap actually, £3.62. I suppose it's midday, that I'm not going to be surging very much during the middle of the day. Right, we're waiting for a toy to Prius. Not sure how long it's going to be. Yes, yeah, so the reason why we're going through the uh, Boulder Half Tunnel by taxi is because there is no available public transport to get through the tunnel. Uh, and walking through the Rotherhive Hive Tunnel is extremely dangerous. Uh, and I, yeah, it's very, very polluted in there and lots of debris apparently from uh, cars on the road. I don't fancy too much uh, doing that. Oh, it's our main man. He's just on the other side of the road. Hello. Yep. Into the Hive Station, please. Thank you very much. Do you know what else it said on Instagram? Not to, um, <laughs> not, not to walk through the Rotherhive like Tunnel. Thank you. Because the pavements in, that, in there look absolutely terrifying. There's one, another one of our C10 buses. We're running a bit behind schedule. Um, so we'll get on with this quickly and work out our next crossing as I believe 
Uh, we are going through here uh, on a London Overground service northbound uh, back towards uh, Wapping. And that will be our next crossing of the River Thames, uh, known as the Thames Tunnel, opened in um, 18, the early 1800s, and I believe one of the very first uh, crossings of the uh, railway crossings of the River Thames built in London. In fact, it might be the first. Uh, now, Royal Hive to Wapping is um, quite short, actually. Is that Hybrid Islington train? We want to Hybrid Islington train, don't we? No, yeah, that's, the other, that's the other train. So here comes our train. On the Overground service, which will be getting uh, bound for Hybrid Islington as far as Wapping. One of the pretend entry units, 378135. Poppy on, um, the DLR stuff we saw earlier well, also have poppies on. Right, that's the end of all the premium nonsense. We're going, <laughs> should, should be, and I should be capped on Oyster now, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't pay more than um, any more for the rest of the day, which is good. Warping with its famous very, very narrow platforms. <laughs> we keep going uh, under the and over the river. Terms of, uh, so many times I don't even know what side of the river we're on. I believe we're on the north side of the river now. We're going to head into Central. I believe that this is the last crossing um, of the River Thames before proper Central Central London. Beep. Oh, it doesn't even beep. Keep clear, doors closing. This is such a strange lift. Anyway, from here, we are going to get the 100 bus. I'm not too sure which direction uh, we're headed in, whether it's going towards Elephant and Castle or St Paul's. Yep, I believe it's St Paul's. Uh, uh, just waiting for, uh, for our bus. Five minutes until our bus. Right, here comes our bus, which will be taking as far as St Catherine's Docks. This is our next leg uh, to complete uh, Tower Bridge, uh, which is the next crossing of the River Thames. It seems strange that there are no crossings of the river uh, between Tower Bridge uh, and the Bogart Tunnel. Oh, sorry, the Thames Tunnel. One hundred to St. Paul's. Thank you. There's a big step down. Anyway, here we are, St. Catherine Docks. Um, I believe we're somewhere near Tower Bridge. <laughs> uh, maybe we should have gone one step further to uh, Tower Gateway, that might have been slightly closer. Uh, but yes, Tower Bridge is going to be our next crossing off the River Thames. You can see we're properly in the city of London now, look at that. It's amazing how far we've come. There is the Tower of London, another famous London landmark. And we'll be going across Tower Bridge very shortly. Alright, bus is here. Taking us over Tower Bridge. You can see on the top next to the game, to be. Tower Bridge, um, I believe it's a Bascule Bridge, I think they call it, uh, opened in 1894. Um, so, despite being called a historic landmark, it's not actually that old. See it just there. 
go up it but it costs 70 quid to do so um, maybe don't do it unless you really want to go up to the top of that tower you'll get better views from almost anywhere else um, yeah, it's built on a condition uh, to allow uh, big boats to pass through because um, at, at that time um, there are ports in the centre of London to allow big boats through the centre of London hence why this bridge is able to open up we're now going across the river I believe here is the point where the bridge um, is held up lots and lots of tourists taking pictures of their mobile phones Tower Bridge Indeed Tower Bridge This is the South Bank Okay, welcome to London Bridge everyone, just got off the R343 bus Convenient bus that um, goes both across the Tower Bridge and takes us to London Bridge Which is very nice uh, I'm going to get lunch here, I've got about an hour's break here before we uh, continue our next part of the trip Which I assume will be the either the Northern Line or London Bridge itself uh, Which will be going across um, I'm not too sure which one is the furthest east out of those um, I'll have a look. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna get lunch here. I will see you in a bit.